Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new uh, process video and uh, I'm working on a junk journal for Vicky Booten. And this binder or binder um, includes four dividers and 12 pages. And there are a lot of um, inserts too. We have some mixed media paper refills. Uh, we have some craft paper, some mixed media paper and some um, watercolor paper. And yeah, sorry about my voice, but I am totally sick. I got the flu. <laughs> And I am, um, wait, yeah, I am, I am, I am sick. <laughs> um, yeah, so let's talk about my cover for my junk journaling. I have never made one of these albums and so this is kind of new for me. But um, I'm, I started with, a, um, with some gesso on my, on the cover and I will grab some bubble wrap to um, stamp the gesso and now yeah uh, you can see what I mean I'm just pressing down the bubble wrap onto the wet gesso and just use the gesso on the um, foil to stamp the image and now I'm looking into the um, all the good things um, oh I think that is a frame pack and I'm just grabbing a few bits and pieces. They um, are matching. Oh, what what is matching in my mind for 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 the cover? You know, I'm just looking for some bits and pieces I can add to decorate um, my cover. And these are the icons. And um, I will not use any of the things I'm grabbing right now. So I'm just now I will add some color, and I'm using the acrylic pops. And here I had a little fight with that bottle, so yeah, I'm using um, three pinks or one light pink, dark pink and a purple. And I'm just using my palette knife to get the color um, spread around the, the cover. And I really like that you can see the stamped image from, from the bubble wrap um, underneath the color. and. Um, yeah, purple is not my not my color, but I wanted to give it a try, and I like how that turned out. Yeah, and yeah, here I'm. Uh, the The color is still wet, so I'm just thinking about what I can add. And here I uh, decided to go with some washi tapes, and these are also included, or these are also from the um, All the Good Things collection. And I'm grabbing three different uh, colors and sizes, and now I will um, now I will grab the matte acrylic gel to um, to glue the things down. So I will I will use um, the gel to um, yeah to glue the things um, onto the mixed media part and I will also um, add a little coat from that to um, the color so everything is um, everything is fixed now there is nothing that um, could happen to the to the color you know when it's um, I can it's it's safe now <laughs> if that makes sense to you because of the of the coat from the from the gel it's everything is um, yeah, secured. There's nothing. Even when when water will will um, come onto that cover, nothing will happen because of the gel. Yeah, and it's also a great medium to um, as a glue. You know, just um, what I'm doing here, adding some um, from the gel underneath and on top, and it's um, glued down. Um, yeah, my, my cover is nearly done. I will add um, some foam, glitter foam words. And I will only, I will use um, good things and two arrows. And I really uh, like how that looks. And um, I'm not, my junk journal will be filled with some um, awesome memories and some, um, yeah, maybe some practice sheets for my brush lettering or my other mixed media products or 
just some photos and some random notes so I'm totally totally not sure what um yeah I will see what I will I will uh, make for the for the insert so we will um work on two inserts in this uh, videos too you will see them in just a bit and uh, yeah these um flowers I have added um there's a stamp set here you can see the code everything is shiny yep and um yeah, the stems, I have just um, practiced some um, techniques on craft paper and um, it looks so pretty and so I decided to stamp and um, use the dye on it. And so the flowers and the birds are exactly that. Um, now, this is uh, one of the watercolor sheets, watercolor papers, and I added a thin coat of um, the matte acrylic gel. Um, just because I wanted to add a lot of water and paint and so I wanted to get sure that the paper is not, um, yeah, I wanted to get sure that I can move the water on the, on the sheet, on the coat from the gel. Oh my. And here, uh, one of my favorite techniques, um, I know Vicky is saying, um, kissing technique, um, and yeah. The color will kiss the paper so <laughs> um, I have uh, decided to go with five colors two purples two blue tones and one green and I'm adding a lot of water to get the art crayon um, in a liquid form so I can use that as um, yeah like watercolors you know and now you can see the magic it's just um, awesome to play with the colors um, on the paper and on the gel and here everything is dry and um, there were some areas where I don't like how the colors turned out so I just grabbed a paper towel and now I'm going back with the art, cray art crayons and water and I'm just um, moving the color around and add uh, more green and more purple so until I'm happy with uh, how the colors turned out, yeah. And the colors are just um, awesome. I really love to play with the art crayons. So they are, you can use them dry or it, how I, I am doing it right now with water. And it's just, um, yeah, so much fun, really. Um, I think, yeah, and then uh, my camera died. And I did not realize it, and so um, not now, but in a bit, and you will miss just a few parts. Um, but now uh, everything is dry, and I went to my sewing machine, and I decided to flip the paper over and make a little the pocket, um, yeah, to stitch um, a little pocket. And now I will grab um, a 12 by 12 paper from the All the Good Things collection to cut out some flowers. And um, then I will add um, yeah, the flowers and some leaves. And the other one, um, it's a bit offset the print and so there was um, uh, more white on one side and so I decided to just cut the white off. And um, yeah, now I think I will go and, and cut two more flowers out. And here you see my camera died and I added some stems and I added um, the art crayons with a stencil in a dry through um, with a big brush onto the paper. Um, and I don't know why I, I did not realize it. And so, yeah, I'm very sorry, but you will um, see some... Um, detailed images on my blog yeah um, this is um, the first pocket I will add um, the little tag you have seen with the creative world and the date and I will add some um, tags with different techniques I have made for that show and um, so that I will keep them in the pocket in my memory album or I don't know <laughs> um, 
yeah now gluing uh, down the flowers and then we will start on a second page for um, the album and this will just is one from the um, what's the word wait dividers yeah one from the dividers so the tag goes there and now for the tags I have made for the show and um, yeah now onto that divider I'm grabbing a stencil and some white gesso and um, I'm just applying the gesso through the stencil with a little palette knife and um, the fun part here is when you when the gesso is dry and you will go back with some color and uh, water or baby wipe or you can totally um, get the color off from the gesso and so it's look like um, yeah the gesso resists the color and the water and it's um, but you will see what I mean in a bit. <laughs> <coughs> Yeah, now everything is um, dry or the gesso is dry. I'm grabbing two different green tones and some water to um, get the color uh, liquid, you know, <laughs> so that I can move it around. Um, and this is not exactly the image I wanted to see, so I'm grabbing the brush and uh, more color and more water to get um, more color onto the paper and the spray I have used the second before that one is um, a self-made spray I have made with a touch of acrylic pop paint and um, a bit of water and I really love that color and I love how everything is working so great with water you know even even the glaze I will add in a bit is I used it um, like a little water color and it's um, I love it really and here you can see I'm going back with a touch of water over the um, gesso circles and you can see that I'm um, taking off the color so they will it's uh, just fun right <laughs> and um, yeah the last part I'm doing today or right now is adding some gold splatters and I will grab the gold glaze for that and a tiny uh, water brush a tank water tank brush you know and you can see I'm adding water to get um, the color uh, movable so adding more water splattering around and I will also um, paint with that I will go into the circles and we'll just add some gold lines here and there and that it and I love how that looks and check out my blog for more pictures of the process and some detail shots and uh, yeah thanks so much for watching and um, that's it for today stay tuned for more and I am off to bed now all right <laughs> thanks a lot bye